Good morning, scholars. Today we're going to talk about magnitude. Magnitude means about how many. It's the same word as using the word estimation. So magnitude, about how many. So today your I can statement is, I can tell or estimate how many beans are in a jar, okay? So to, we learned that in estimation or magnitude, we don't ever have to have the exact answer. We never have the exact answer because we don't count. We don't count what we have. So if I had, I'm just gonna draw some pictures. Okay, I'm gonna draw one over here. Have a little more. And then over here in the jar, there's going to be so many, I cannot even begin to count them. Here's my first, second, here's my first jar. I want to know about how many is in here. Well, if I'm not going to count these, I would think that these had about 10. Remember, we always have to use the word about when we are talking about estimation. The next group looks like it might have, again, I'm not going to count it, it might have about 30. Why would I say 30? Well, because there is more in here than there is in here. But do I know exactly how many? No. Why do you think we would use estimation? Well, Let's see how long it would take to count all of these items in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. That takes a long time and just instead of just saying, there are about 30 actually. I'm gonna change that and maybe make it about 20, okay? Now my last jar. It has so many in there that there's no way I can count them. Perhaps you have a bag of M&Ms and you don't know how many is in there, but you think there might be about 300. We don't know that. So there are so many in here that I can't count them. Let me get my green marker. I'm going to say these are about 100. We have that magic word about. We have to have that word when we're estimating because we don't know how many there really are, okay? So today, I have some jars here filled with some beans. So let's take a look at them. I have three jars. I hope you can see them, you know. I know how to put them on the reading books. I know you may think teaching from home is easy, but it's really not. There we go. We have three jars. The first jar is pretty empty. There's almost none in here. Take a look. It'd be real easy to count, but we're not going to count today. We're going to see how many there might be. There might be. There might be about, I don't know, I haven't counted them, about 10. That's the first jar. Okay, now we have the second jar. Hmm. It's got a little bit more, doesn't it? Doesn't have as much as these. So our number has to be a little bit bigger than what we chose for this one. We chose this one had about 10. How many do you think the middle jar has? About 50 maybe? Don't know. I'm not gonna count them, but I'm gonna write the word about 50. And we have this last jar. It is really full up with beans. 
There's lots of them, lots of them in here. It'd be too hard to count because we even have beans all the way in the middle and every time I move it, it changes. And if I dump them out, who knows, I could spill them. I could miscount them. So let's see how many do you think that one might have, the last one. About a hundred maybe? Mm, I think even more than that. I think the last jar would have about, whoops, 200. That is the last jar. Would have about 200 beans. Do I know for sure? No, because I have not counted them. This one didn't have very many. It'd be easy to count, but we're not going to. This one has about 10. This one has about 50. A little bit harder to count. The last one is loaded with beans. So loaded with beans. This one probably has about 200. Which one do you think has the most beans in it? Yes, this one here, because how could we tell? This one has this a lot more, so it has more. Which one has less? Yes, this jar right here has less. So today we talked about magnitude, which means about how many. It's estimation. It is not an answer that is exact. If I wanted to know exactly how many was in here, I could count them. I don't know, let's just try with a little one. Count them with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 12, 13, 14, 15. I have a little bit more than 10, but that's okay because I was just estimating them. I'm not exact, I only want to know about how many. So my estimation was pretty close to see that it had about 10. Till next time.